Hey y'all, it's your girl Liza Koshi. What's poppin'? Your skin. Oh, thank you so much. Funny you mentioned because today I'm gonna be bringing you through my skincare routine and I'm gonna be going for a bold eye look. Stay tuned. Oh, I'm so ready. Woo! It's just every little girl and boys and non binaries dream of doing this after watching Rihanna. This is my cleanser. This is my step one of my skincare process. I'm leaning into the duality multi purpose tool. I always had like my cleanser and then I had my exfoliator, like my little Foreo on the side. And I hated having to pick up both of them. I just wanted to pick up one product and now I have that. Like, ugh. Because I'm a child of the internet and I read comments, which is perfectly healthy. Um, I double cleanse actually, so I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> And I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> this is actually my face mask kit. So each one is for a different part of my face because your face has different needs. So first off, we got my exfoliant called Face Off. Got a nice little brush here too for her. I have so many pores. But yes, I like to exfoliate my chin and my nose. Those are the areas I get the oiliest, so I don't mind exfoliating them because they're always going to be hydrated naturally. All right. This is Rested Bee Face. Check her out. Next, we have Butterface. And yes, I was in middle school, and that's why we developed a personality. Next, we got Show Face, honey. It's time to go. Clean beauty. What's that mean? It's the one thing I don't like though. My beauty. Okay. Gotta wait for this to set for 15 minutes. Let's go do some weird shit in the background. All right, 15 minutes are up. Now it's time to wash this off. I've learned she has plans to take you down. So you always want to pat upwards. And I always wash my face with warm water first so I can make sure I get all the product off. And then I wash my face with cold water to tighten their skin back up. Now next up we have Biosons Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Let's go, this is hydration station. So let me tell you, we're building a cake here, honey. Oh, sorry, this is an inconspicuous little instrument that needs context. This vibrates too, so multi-use instrument, but this is a face roller and I massage my face and bring it upwards. Take a couple drops of this. Ew. Love Biosons because Jonathan Fitness, um, but also because it's clean. It's clean and they're so thoughtful with their ingredients too. I feel like it does something. I don't really know what it does. But everybody had one of these and I had FOMO, so I got one too. This is Milk It Baby. I know some people say to slap your face to like bring the blood flow. I do it sometimes, but like I do a little pat. All right, now we're gonna jump into my makeup routine. We have Revlon Prime Plus, honey. Prime plus the fact that it's EWG verified, let's go. So EWG really holds, you know, brands and products and um, ingredients for you to a whole new standard that you deserve, honey. It's awesome, it's a huge, huge shift for the clean beauty wave. So now that I'm all primed and prepped and ready, um, the next thing I do is not a moisturizer, not SPF, honey, <laughs> not foundation. Now, who needs it when you have all three in one product, baby? Bam! That's right. So these, I just do a little dots. Trust me. You thought I wasn't gonna put on SPF? Uh-uh, honey. <laughs> so I kind of spread it with the warmth of my fingers at first because that's what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said in her last Vogue Beauty Secrets. Ah! Yeah, that was so cool. I can't believe I'm on the same channel, channel as AOC. <laughs> 
I spread it around with my fingers and I do another little layer. Don't come for my dirty beauty plan. I really got into makeup at a young age. Started off young because I started performing at a young age. I started ballet when I was four. And because of that, I ended up in the Houston Ballet Nutcracker <laughs> at nine years old. So it was on stage, you know, like definitely no Broadway, but like stage makeup is heavy. It is thick, it is acrylic paint basically. And I had bright pink cheeks and eyelashes on at age nine. So I had to figure it out for myself. So getting into drugstore makeup and, you know, taking tips from my ballet peers um, before going on stage and getting my makeup done a couple times and then taking matters into my own hands and doing it myself I was a huge like confidence booster as a kid too because you can just flex with your face by saying you beat it yourself. And this is a cheek and lip tint. Duality baby, two for one, let's go. Um, and this is, I'm gonna put a little bit just on my nose right there. Yeah. So I put a little, I know it's weird to do your blush. You know, that might be something people typically do last, but it's something I like to do underneath my makeup because I don't like too pinky. So this will disappear a little bit once I set. Okay. Sometimes you gotta back up. Just make sure you look good. They don't look good as well. Only far away. This is one of my favorite steps of my skincare. It's water. You know the humble glass of water? Then you're not humble. So next, last on our wet ingredient list, I have concealer. So I take a little dab of this Will People Concealer. I use NARS concealer too, and I'm mixing the two because I'm slowly trying to transition to all clean. But it's hard, but it's possible. So I put concealer there. I didn't do it on that eye because I was distracted by my beauty, but I'm gonna put a little bit there and a little bit there to lift the eye. When it came to the characters that I played on YouTube, I just realized, you know, I look good as a dude. So I created <laughs> some guy characters that I used to play on YouTube. And it was just allowing me to lean into my masculine side. I got that. I got both feminine and masculine energy. So I decided to turn them into characters so that I could fully step into them. And I loved creating their makeup. I loved creating their personalities because they were just extensions of mine but like me wholeheartedly embracing that part of me and then putting it into a character on camera <laughs> and then accidentally making a career look at this brush this is my next step he is literally rubbing all this all over my face <laughs> and just setting my face in real quick i'm just gonna ooh. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so this cake has been baking for like one minute at 180 degrees. So we're just gonna brush her off. Now it's time to carve the cake with our bronzer. This is Beauty Counter Cabana. Look at this. I love Beauty Counter too, because they're also clean. These brushes are called the crayon case and they're designed to look like pencils. Oh, look at the packaging. So this is Bra Benefit Browsing. I love this because it has a wax. Use my spoolie to comb out my bruises. I've had many experiences with my eyebrows um, and without them. And by without them, I mean I've run into many doors and walls and lost them. I really don't have eyebrows, so I take a lot of pride in how I paint them on. This is Mineral Fusion Waterproof Mascara in the color Kit Um, And I always put that on top, also clean. Um, I put that on top of my brows to set them in place and they, they've stayed. They've stayed, they know their place now. I 
Next, I'm gonna conceal, clean that up just a tiniest bit. And I'm gonna put a little bit of my concealer on my wrist. I'm gonna take this and dip around that. That was talent you just witnessed. That shit was crazy. I think I'll just bring a little bit of the concealer down here. Okay. All right, next, we're gonna go in, we're gonna start prepping the eyelid for our bold look. But first, I just wanna fill in those greasy creases. I'm gonna go in with peace, which is what I strive to have on the inside and lighten up that lid a little bit. But I typically use just really neutral colors. I'll use a light on my lid and then I'll use, you know, really just darken up the crease. I have, I've had like the same, you know, like neutral look that I always go to with a wing and like eight layers of mascara. And that's kind of like my, my signature look that I always go to and feel the most confident in. But I've really, I've really found some, I've had, I've had some newfound confidence by trying these new, bold, colorful looks too. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so we've got that prepped. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer and just bronze up my crease just a little bit. See, I can just see, oh, look at that. It's just a nice little light color, run that through. All right, now we're about to do our bold look. All right. Cute. Look at that color though. Ah! <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with Beauty Counter Liquid Eyeliner. The anxiety that liquid eyeliner comes with. I'm fine, you're fine. Let's go. So I'm just gonna continue putting this on in the front camera. And I'm just gonna terrifyingly fill in my waterline. It's like, you know when the back of your eyelids itch? It's like itching that itch that you can't reach. Oh, okay, cool. See, I'll just like, darker. All right, go back in with the beauty counter liner. We're going to confidently do a little black rainbow right there. Here we Wow, all right, what in the 70s Cleopatra do we have going on here? Uh-huh, look at that. Next we're gonna add some lashes, vegan of course. The hair that I did not inherit from my family on my eyebrows, I did get on my eyelashes. So figure for this glam look, for this bold look, we could add a couple more. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Flash Please highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna do so with my fingers. Cause I trust them, cause I wash them, cause they're clean. I put it on my cheeks earlier underneath my makeup, so now I'm gonna put it in there. Showing a little extra. Use the applicator, your finger, your brush, whatever you want. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it, go right underneath my brow, and give her a little shine. Next, I have my mascara I'm gonna put on. This one is Sir. I don't know how to say it, but I think it's Sir. And then, I love this one. This is my same one. Muse Mascara. At last, we have our lipstick by Well People. Look at this packaging. Oh, the little push of the button. You push that, pops out. Well People is also amazing. Love them. I like to use lipstick as liner. <laughs> I love this color. Don't come for me. I know my eye looks are not the most symmetrical, but perfection is not relatable. So I did that intentionally. So I got a nice little line. And then this, this bottle's done. I'm gonna squeeze this out. This is the nectar of the gods for me. It is Samoa's Glossé 
lip gloss. Cool, all right, okay. Oh, that feels amazing. And lastly, I put on Sebastian Shaper Plus. Just want to tuck away those flyaways. And I typically go in with a little comb and I lay down my baby hairs to sleep. Boom! Ta-da! I think it's fun. Definitely not your everyday, but you can wear your makeup in any way. So I had fun doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the dance floor. Bye. Go ahead and party with one now. <laughs>